What is happening gals and guys, Nick here and we're back with more Alan Wake 2. And as you can see, we're actually playing as Alan Wake right now. Even though we can't see his face. What's up with that? Uh, looks like we're about to uh, go on stage on a talk show. Mm. Give me that. Just kidding, I don't need that shit. Warm welcome. Oh, wait. Can interact with the TV? Ah, oh, I see. <clears throat> Hell down, them. Can we go out? No, we're locked in. Damn it. Looks like it's super foggy inside as well. Okay, well, let's do it. Oh, damn, this is great. With Mr. Door. Come on, come on, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> In between with Mr. Door. Oh man, it is so good to see you, Alan. But uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? <laughs> yeah. Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooked up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> yeah, we all know who do those dudes are. To get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending, so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought? No, he has no freaking idea. A story, a postmodern detective story? Wait, this isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so hot. Okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Yeah, probably. Makes more sense. <laughs> well played, man! That is spot on! Playing the role here! Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? Very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake. Who is trapped in a nightmare? Yeah, that sounds about right. Manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? Well, but seriously, I found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of the Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing, uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah. That's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Note to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? Guess so. <laughs> no, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey's. I want one of those coffee cups. Hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, <clears throat> we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this. Looks like the um, the same one we have in uh, Bright Falls. Yeah. Thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. Always talk of meta narratives. I kept expecting the 
disappear once the sea ends. Here we go. Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need we, to get home. Oh. To Alice. We're... So... I guess we're not going to find a lot of stuff lying around here. Looks great. Check out the uh... yeah. See, old gods of Asgard. It's the two twins. That is so damn cool. What is that tape? Dark as hell. see something over here and over there but it's probably just a visual effect <laughs> all right it's back here oh oh here we go what the hell was that interview some kind of joke initiation I never wrote a book called initiation this felt like a bad dream could make a good horror story All right, <clears throat> these locked. They are. Okay, fine. So I wonder what the deal is with this, if we want to do that. Must be a point to that. Okay, I see. I was a mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Well, sort of. My interpretations of many worlds. Dr. Casper Darling. <laughs> Alright, so this is a dude from Control. <laughs> Love it. Okay, off we go. Oh no. Okay. I guess this is locked hey! then. I think I've been locked in. Yes. Anybody? Can we? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Yeah. Great. So if I'd guess, <clears throat> we need to go back. Uh. Ten. Ten. Ten ten. Try that. No, it's a three digit one. Okay. Okay. Have a look at everything. Stage was a monitor over here, right? No, it's a keyboard. Okay, I get it. Right, nothing. Oh, I see. Thought there was something moving. Old gods of Asgard. <clears throat> okay, any clues over here? It's probably in the dressing room, but you never know. Got this big ass thingy over here. Well, <clears throat> I guess we'll just have to brute force it. Just try every single combination and we'll get it eventually. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that.
There's no way up there, right? I see basement. So that is probably connecting from the hallway, right? But this was locked, so that's a no-go. Exit. Wait, what the hell? Was this here before? Old gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. <laughs> oh, yes. We know those epic people. 665. Neighbor of the Beast. It's kind of funny, actually. Okay, so 665. Sounds about right. Here we go. Oh. So we don't have any way of protecting ourselves. There was something here. Oh yeah, let's go. I couldn't quite make out. Let's go. What was that? Oh, I don't know. A message? Oh, impossible to say. Yeah, you'll have to excuse my sniffles. The allergy is... Oh shit, I forgot to take a pill today. That's why. Give me a soda. Lime. Lime lemon. Uh-oh. Have a look here first. Nope. Uh oh. There was something <clears throat> in the studio with me. I had to get out. Yeah, I guess it's the dark entity. I would love to be able to prone. I mean, if you don't run, you walk. And I think that's enough to sneak by stuff. At least it seemed that way. When. Uh, we're playing a saga in the forest area. Okay, very... Oh, oh. So, what I do want to do... Do want to do want to do... Let's see if we can go back and get ourselves murdered here. I want to check this out first. It's probably locked, but you never know. Yeah. Okay, so the game saved. What's behind the door? Uh oh. Dark entity approaching. Oh shit. This is a familiar place. I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced. Yep, this is the cabin from the first game, located on Cauldron, I Cauldron Lake. Don't remember what the island was called, though. I've been writing. Initiation. <clears throat> you must write to escape. Uh, okay. So it's over here. A plot board for mapping out a story. Oh, so he gets his own uh, little that just happened to me. board. So far, but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. Yeah, what was that about? These words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. 
So that's the plot board. We have a goal here now. Get back to writing. Yeah, I want to listen to the radio though. Oh, no, no, no. I get it. Okay, and then you'll have... What else do you have? Oh, hi. Can we knock you over? Poof! No. Guess we can't leave. No. I couldn't leave. Nope. This wasn't the way out. I had to write more. Sure. Can we actually have a look at this? All right. <clears throat> Waking up to a nightmare. At the talk show, I thought I was home in New York. Okay, so this is what we just went through. Everything Dor has said felt true. Uh, the dark place trapped you must write to escape. Sure. Read me. Beware of scratch. Okay. Fragments. We don't have a drawer here, so we can't... Uh, can't access other chapters and stuff like that. We have radio. Yeah, that's all we have for now. Okay, let's go writing then, I guess. I wonder if we get to decide or influence uh, the story. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. Oh shit. That is a very cool transition. No freaking way. Oh, but now we can actually f influence the story, right? No, wait. Yes. Oh my God, this is this is so great. Me and my main man Phil, we we just had a chat about uh, Sam Lake and how awesome he is. Okay. So anything different now? Looks very, very much the same, right? Yep. Well, I guess we do this again. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan. <laughs> there he is. The, uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? To your right, man. I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he <laughs> look the part to you? <laughs> <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a yeah, and these guys are finished. Remember that. So, uh, What's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well... In that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. <laughs> or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This is absolutely amazing. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window. My own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. 
The only thing we shared light on this sordid mystery. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? And back we are. Hold on. <clears throat> All right. So the plot thickens. Wait, anything back here? No. Of course not. Of course not. Okay, so I guess we do the same. But I bet things will change. This is kind of being stuck in a loop. And at the same time, not. Yes, yeah, see, this is locked. No, it's not. Is it the same code? That is different, though. It's the same code, but it's different. 100% gonna be a jump scare here. Okay, so this is the same. Alright, so still 665. Nope! I knew it. Wait, maybe we can brute force it. We can. Because I'm a pro. Okay, television set. Uh oh. We're gonna meet up with an old friend oh, that's locked. Shows that already. So... Okay, that's not gonna matter, but... Still wanna try it out. Go, 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 go! Oh! <clears throat> Interesting. Hello? Uh oh. No, we are going to meet up with an old friend. Before we do that. You in here? Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's here. Somewhere. What about here? There he is, man! <laughs> there you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I yeah, so this is Arty from uh, Control. <laughs> Of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's. A man, but the man with the two makes two, Tom. <laughs> and a man with a two can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. 
save as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. <laughs> you can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. Yep. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you Just a battery of wise words. There where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. Yeah, he's awesome. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. <laughs> Such a cool picture as well. Alright, stage... Okay, we have a key for the basement now. question is, how do we get there? So this will probably link back. Yes, basement is probably down there. Now this area is... <clears throat> oh, we're up here. Okay, I see. Which means that we can probably open this door. And uh, next time I imagine there's going to be another loop. Alan Wake guest room. Oh, so this is where we started off. Interesting. So does that mean that we... Where the hell do we head from here, then? That yeah, was his changing... Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 it's just the door. Okay. Hmm. Wait. Oh, we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. Then we came out here. And this is toilets, yes. Basement, basement, basement. Is it from your room? It's not right, no. Okay. Ah, check it out. <laughs> Map can be accessed by returning back to what? Oh, we can't do a quick access. Oh, but we can do this now. Oh, shit. All right. Anything unfolded here? I think so. Find a way out of the talk show. Find what was left in the talk show studio basement. Okay, so how the hell do we get there? Oh, that's a very, very interesting zoom. Oh, it's out here. Okay, I get it. Stage. Anything else we missed? Workshop. Okay. So we go here. <clears throat> Fantastic. Making progress. Not at all getting lost. We don't have a flashlight, anything like that, so. I guess we have to stay in the light, or else bad things probably happen. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where? Where? Where was that? Or is it just like an indicator of uh, it's actually in there we need to go? Have a check it. We are here. <clears throat> Light shift inactive. I see. But we need to get over there, I guess. 
Anything we can pick up here? I feel like there's going to be baddies here. For sure. Smokes. This looks like the dressing room all over again. Okay, here we go. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Of course. Oh, yeah, and it's uh, in the shape of an angel. It felt significant. Yep. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I am the bringer of light. I am Alan Wake. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Use the angel lamp to move lights and create a way forward. Okay, cool. Uh, what? Well, wait, what? Whoa! Oh shit! When the light jumped into my lamp. The whole room changed, like something Damn. in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Okay, that's pretty cool. Isn't that like the Harry Potter thing? I mean, of course, it doesn't look like that, but. Um... Okay, so I have. I have the light in my bag now. So can we. Okay, this is gonna be. Very much a trial and error here. So this is blocked off. Can we maybe use it over here? I no, wait. We can do it here. I think the glow in the lamp went out. Okay, Should that is that is pretty the nice. Carved out something new from the darkness. Yeah, and now we need to do it again. Standing in here. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, nothing on the wall. So if we stand here, now we're on the other side. That is very cool. Not exactly a, a whole lot to pick up. Okay, let's uh, proceed. <clears throat> Doesn't look like it's an offensive weapon either, so we can't protect ourselves with it. Oh, and I hear him, so we're back up here. What is this though? I feel like I should use it here. That probably means that we can get out of the basement again. Is this going in? Or is this... Oh shit. Uh oh. Guess we should check this out. Oh, I have no charges. God damn it. How do we do this? Can't do it from over there. Okay. So, is there a way for us to... Because I feel like that is something we need to do, right? But, can I do it from here and still be able to go back there? Doesn't look like it. Maybe, actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to. That is a very fun mechanic. The clicker. The lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and horror real. It feeds off my mind. 
twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer to the map, the key, the compass, the divine, to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? The bottom of an ocean, it's not an ocean, and a lake. God damn. Well, guess it's safe to say that uh, this is where we wrap up. And um, I'm curious if we continue as Alan or we go back to Saga in the next episode but uh, yeah that was the talk show all right very very cool episode um oh damn yeah i'm amazed by this game so i'm uh, really looking forward of continuing it but that will be it for now so uh thank you gals and guys for watching if you do enjoy the content you know what to do and as always chivity amo